Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be talking about the expected features in the sales module of Odoo 17. So as you all know, Odoo never disappoints us. Like every time when new version has been uh, getting released, we'll be waiting to know what is there inside the uh, like different modules. So this time inside sales, we have pretty much, uh, you know, updations, right? Exactly. Yeah, so the first thing which uh, we can find inside the sales module is that uh, once you confirm a sale order, okay, if you want to change the customer name, you can do that. Yeah, exactly. Because previously we couldn't do that, right? Yeah. In previous version, we don't have an option to change the sale order customer. But in Auto 17, we have an inquisitive feature. We can change the customer from a sale order. But you have to keep in mind that you can only change the name of a customer or change a customer if it's a recurring sale order. Okay. And another feature is that you can also pause a sale order, but that sale order must be recurring. As a sale order is recurring, we know that it would be a subscription. Yeah. So we can just cancel the subscription or just pause the subscription in a bulk. So that's a great feature, right? Yeah, we didn't have this before. So like we are all humans, we make mistakes, right? So in like accidentally, if you put any wrong customer name, the auto is giving you an option to correct it. So that's the first feature. And the second one is you can pause as well as cancel. Yeah, pause and cancel the uh, recurring, like a sale order, which is in the recurring state, which is basically a subscription. Yeah. Right. So that's the, uh, like, that's the basic things about the sale order. Now, if you just take a look inside the products, okay. So inside products, is there any changes? Exactly. We have a lot more changes in the product. The first one that we have to highlight is the product type. And we have a new product type, which is combo. Combo? Yeah. Oh my God. That's a very good addition because previously we didn't have such a thing. So combo product, that's very interesting. Yeah. But we will be disclosing the use of product type combo in this video. So just stay tuned. You guys will have to wait until we will be talking about the POS module. Oh yeah. Right. And the other change is product template tags. And you can just create the tags for the main product, which is for the product template and which would like you to use tags uh, for the product as well as for the product variants. Yeah, you have another feature which is the product template tag. So that's two, what else? And we can also just link the documents with the product, which is another new feature in Odoo 70. So this is the common features uh, in the sales, purchase, inventory, because we know that it's integrated, yeah. right? it's integrated. So all in this purchase inventory module and all, we have the same tab called the products. There also we can create products and manage everything regarding products. So yeah, that's why it is affecting all these three modules. So what else do we have in the product? Okay, and we have a new feature of just subcontracting the service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you choose the product type as service, you might be getting a field called just a subcontract service. Yeah, and that would let you to create a purchase order automatically as you just confirm your sale order. So that's all about the new updations in sales. We have pretty much updations inside the product itself, right? Yeah. So this is all about the updations which has come to our Odoo 17 sales module. So this is what we are expecting, right? Yeah. You can see it when it's released, okay? So inside product, we have product template, then we have a combo type product, right? Yeah. What else we have? And we can link the documents uh, for a product as well as we have a feature of just subcontracting the services. Yeah. And first, when we started the video, we have already told about the changes which has come to the sale order. That is changing the customer thing and also the recurring thing that is the cancelling and all. So I hope it's clear to you guys. Uh, that's all about the sales module. Okay. And Odo is always subtle and gives you inquisitive feature in the upcoming modules. So hope you guys are waiting to know the updations. So keep waiting. We'll be right back with the other module and other expected features of Odo 17. Stay tuned.